Okay, here we are on top of Beach Mountain. We have got Echo Lake down below. Somewhere down below is Echo Lake. Yes, there it is. 300 feet down there. The Cranberry Islands off the coast. I'm going to do a quick lap around the top of the mountain. Hopefully it's a five minute walk. Well, I should say hopefully. It used to be longer. They've shortened it. They've blocked it off for erosion control. But we're going to go around. You be safe, honey. She's not joining me on this trip. I was just saying that you're not joining me for this short little hike. And of course, have you heard me say everything red on the ground are blueberries. Blueberry bushes. There's no blueberries left. You should have been here two months ago. And you literally could pick the wild blueberries off the bushes and eat them on your way. We were here one year and we watched a bald eagle fly down below us. That's always great when you can look down and see a bald eagle flying. Oh. Follow the blue paint. Actually, this little blueberry growing in the rock, I take a picture of it every year. It's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, got to show it to my wife since she didn't come. She thought it was cute a couple years ago. These little detours are great. Ah, oh, I love Maine. Acadia National Park. Mount Desert Island. Bar Harbor is the most famous city. That's the touristy one with the most restaurants and shops and what have you. This is Echo Lake. The one in the distance is Solmesville. That is the only fjord in North America. That second body of water you see, it carries through on out to the ocean and I believe the definition of a fjord is that it is deeper than it is wider I don't think I'm on the path anymore let's see if we can go make one. Oh, not as young and spry as I used to be okay now I'm back on the path Just never miss the opportunity to go out on these cliffs. Hello blueberries. Hello balsam. So the path used to keep going, but through erosion control they stopped it. Now it's just a small short loop. I'll just have to come back in a few years when they reopen it. Oh, I'm out of shape at this altitude. I'm indoors cutting lenses too much. Of course, people out in Colorado will say, these aren't mountains. This is an altitude. Found a cute little snake here one time. I 
I need the stick. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Where are you going? <laughs> You're almost there. Hang on, I gotta do a John Travolta pose. With the sun behind me. Can you see my shadow in the tree? Hey, I'm gonna jump one time. Sorry, this is really gonna. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Please tell me you got it. I'm getting too old to jump. Okay. I'll come down there and join you. She said she was going to stay, and then when I sneak over there to take her picture, she starts walking off. Okay, back at the starting point. My wife really wants to see an eagle. Oh. Oh. Let's see if I can throw these in the water. No eagle? I'm just trying to see if I can throw a rock in the water. Hope someone's not down there. Nope. I'm gonna go around here and see if I can do it. My wife does not like it when I'm out on the ledge. She refuses to take my picture when I'm out there because she knows I will jump up for a picture. She should know I have a good life insurance policy. I don't know what she's afraid of. She'll have to start paying for her glasses is what it is. Okay. Let's see if I can throw one in. Here it goes. Nope. Ah. Okay. That about wraps it up. We're going to do some more hiking. Thanks for watching. And I bring that love and feeling back to throwing rocks in the water. <laughs> Bye.